Hello children. Today we are starting chapter 6, Sets. And we are starting with exercise 6a. This is found on page number 52. So let's begin. Question 1. State whether or not the following elements form a set. If not, give reasons. Question 1 here. All easy problems in your textbook. So the elements here are the easy problems. Now that is not well defined because what do we mean when we say easy problems? These problems might be easy for some and might not be easy for others. So it is not well defined. Therefore, the answer is no. The given elements do not form a set. We need to give a reason. The reason is the elements are not well defined. The problems in a textbook might be easy for some and difficult for others. So the answer is no, the given elements do not form a set. Question two, all three sided figures. Now this is well defined. We are talking about three sided figures. So yes, the given elements form a set. Question three, the first five whole numbers. Okay, what are the first five whole numbers? We have zero, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Yes, it's very well defined. So this forms a set. These elements, the first five whole numbers, form a set. So yes, the given elements form a set. Question 4. All the tall boys of your class. Now, is that well defined? That's not well defined. Because what do we mean when we say tall boys? Now, are we talking about a specific height or above a specific height? We are not sure, isn't it? So, no, the given elements do not form a set. And the reason is, the definition of tall boys is not well defined. It's not very clear. Question 5. The last three days of the week. What are the last three days of the week? Friday. Saturday and Sunday. Now that is very well defined. So yes, the given elements form a set. Question 6. All the triangles that are difficult to draw. Now this is not well defined. What do we mean when we say difficult to draw? Some of us find it easy, isn't it? To draw and some of us don't find it easy. So no, the given elements do not form a set. Reason is the elements are not well defined. Some triangles that may be difficult for one person might be easy for another person. Question 7. The first three letters of the English alphabet. What are the first three letters of the English alphabet? A, B and C. Now this is very well defined. Because these are the only first three letters of the English alphabet. So yes, the given elements form a set. Question 8. All the tasty fruits. Now again, this is not very well defined. We do not know what is meant here by tasty fruits. Again, it might be tasty for some, isn't it? So no, the given elements do not form a set. The reason is... Fruits that are tasty for some may not be tasty for others. So the elements are not well defined. Question 9. All the clever boys of class 6. Now who are the clever boys of class 6? Now how do we define that? It's not well defined. Suppose we say all the children who get above 90% or all the children who get above 80%. Then it is very well defined. Otherwise, we do not know the definition of clever boys here when we speak about it generally. So no, the given elements do not form a set. Reason, the de definition of cleverness is not well defined. Question 10. All the good schools in Delhi. Again, it's not well defined. We do not know what is meant exactly by good schools. Okay, unless we give a specific value and say, okay, schools that have these features, these benefits, these facilities, 
Since it's not clear, these elements do not form a set. No, the given elements do not form a set. Reason? The definition of good schools is not well defined. Question 11. All the girls in your class whose heights are less than your height now. This is clear, isn't it? You're talking about all the girls. Now in your class, there are some girls and all the girls whose heights are less than your height. You'll be able to easily count how many, isn't it? So yes, the given elements form a set because it's very well defined. Question 12. All the boys in your class whose heights are more than your height. Now, this is also very clear. You'll find some children whose heights are more than your height, isn't it? So, the elements are very well defined. Yes, the given elements form a set. Question 13. All the problems in your mathematics book that are difficult for Amit. Okay, now we are talking about one particular child and the problems that are difficult for Amit, for that child. So yes, it is very clear. The elements are very well defined. So the elements form a set.